गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन दिस इज़ प्रियांशु कौशिक एंड यूर लिसनिंग टू नोप्स लॉ स्कूल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द क्लैट करंट अफेयर्स फॉर क्लैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दिस इज़ पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ द रिविजन सीरीज विच आई हैव बीन कंटिन्यूइंग ऑन दिस चैनल देर आर गोइंग टू बी टेन क्वेश्चन विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द फॉरवर्ड ऑफ द वीडियो देर इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी अ स्पेशल ऑफर बाई अन अकेडमी विच इज़ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल फॉर यू बिकॉज इट इज़ कम्प्लीटली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट सो स्टे विद मी The scheme of this video is basically going to be, as I have already told you, that there are going to be ten questions. Five questions are going to be there per topic. Basically, two topics are going to be discussed in depth in this video. After questions, I will explain the topics in depth. So now let's come to your very first question. As per Constitution of India, yes, as per Constitution of India, which article among the following deals with the right to equality? so your option a is article 14 your option b is article 13 your option c is article 19 and your option d is article 21 so what is the correct answer the correct answer is in the next slide which is option a yes option a that is article 14 talks about right to equality what does article 13 talks about article 13 talks about uh, basically all those laws which are you know made against the provisions of fundamental rights yes your fundamental rights if any law is passed by parliament which is in contravention of your fundamental rights then it is to be declared as void it is to be considered as void do you know what does void mean void means that something is you know uh, illegal since beginning now let's talk about article 19 what does article 19 talks about article 19 is about freedom of speech and expression what is article 21 article 21 is right to life so your right to life is article 21 now let's go back to next question who is the current chairman of lci so what is lci boys lci just a second uh, there is some issue with my mouse so what is lci lci is law commission of india so who is the ch current chairman of lci that is law commission of india option a justice b s mishra option b justice b s chauhan option c justice u u lalit and option d none of the above so what is the correct answer the correct answer is of course option b which is in the next slide so option b that is justice b s chauhan is the current chairman of law commission of india at present we have the 21st yes 21st law commission at present we have the 21st law commission which is working for us now let's now before moving forward i would like to introduce you to an academy's very very great offer for you all people all those people who are going to give clat 2022 on which is scheduled on 19th june right so only very few days are left for your exam and an academy has came up with a very very free mock test offer for you so there are going to be two mock tests conducted by an academy first is going to be held on 12th june and next is going to be held on 16th june for on sunday and thursday both are going to be scheduled at you know 2 pm what is the best thing about this offer is that it is completely free of cost yes these mock tests are completely free you do not have to pay anything all you have to do is to use my code that is t h r i n a t s trinath 10 if you use this code you will unlock this mock test for completely free without paying anything that is it for the you know this is the final mock test for your clat 2020 aspirants even if you are not giving clat 2022 even then you should you know take benefit of this free mock test mock test are very great in order to assess your understanding where do you stand in the you know the where what is your expected rank now let's come back to the video again because your question next question is as per hindu law who is the natural guardian of a minor child so according to hindu law who is the natural guardian what is a natural guardian natural guardian is someone who is you know who has the custody of the child by the fact of his nature you know his understanding with the child so is that option a is mother option b is father option c is grandparents with preference to grandfather option d is none of the above what is the correct answer the correct answer is of course option b that is father 
so hindu law accords a little bit of supremacy to the father if the child is below the age of 5 years if the child is below the e- age of 5 years father uh, generally mother is considered as you know the sole guardian of the child but if the child is above 5 years father is given a bit bit of preference as in comparison to mother in terms of natural guardianship in the under hindu law so next question is in which year tax rules in which year tax rules 1962 were amended by cbdt what is cbdt it is central board of sorry for this um, break guys so what is cbdt cbdt is central board of direct taxes to allow mothers name in pan card so before this amendment which happened in one of these optional years so let me just talk about the options your option a is 2015 option b is 2018 option c is 1998 option 1988 and your option d is 1998 what is the correct answer the correct answer is 2018 so basically before passing of this amendment mother's name was not mandatory in pan card and even there were rules that mother's name was not at all necessary last question of this uh, topic as per islamic law if the child is below the age of 7 years yes as per islamic law if the child is below the age of 7 years who has the right over its custody your option a is mother option b is father option c grandparents with preference to grandmother option d with gra- again grandparents with preference to grandfather the correct answer is of course mother uh, if the child is below the age of 7 years as per islamic law mother has the right of, of sole custody over the child now let's talk about guardianship and issues which has been in great news since the amendment part so recently a pil that is uh, public interest litigation in madras high court sought that all documents must also require the mother's name to be mentioned along with father in the recent past there have been changes to the rules for passport and and permanent account number what is permanent account number this is your the full form of pan so cards that allow an applicants to furnish their mother's name if she is a single parent so up till now single parentship of mothers was not acceptable to the society but things are changing so uh, let's talk about the passport part in december 2016 the ministry of external affairs liberalized its rules for issuance of passport and took a number of steps let's talk about guardianship under hindu laws so uh, hindu minority and guardianship act so this act talks about you know guardianship regarding hindu laws for the hindus indian laws accord supremacy or super superiority to father in case of guardianship of a minor who is below the age of 18 years point to be remembered that fa- if the minor is below the age of 5 years the custody is usually given to the mother under re- under religious laws of hindus or the hindu minority and guardianship act that is passed in 1956 the natural guardian of a hindu minor in respect of minor's person and property is the father and after him the mother the word after him is basically in absence of the father only it does not mean next to father it means that when the father is not there then the mother is the you know respect of the minor natural guardian so provided the custody of a minor who has not completed the age of 5 year shall ordinarily be with the mother as i have already told you now let's come back to the n- let's go back uh, let's go to the next topic where is the capital of what is the capital city of andhra pradesh your option a is kurnool option b vijayawada option c amravati option d visakhapatnam the correct answer is of course option c that is amravati who is the chief justice of andhra pradesh high court so your option a is justice prashant chauhan option b prashant kumar mishra option d justice uday kumar sharma and justice and option d justice raman verma the correct answer is of course option b which is justice prashant kumar mishra justice P- K- prashant kumar mishra is the current chief justice of andhra pradesh high court so next question is which article of indian constitution empowers the high court to use writ, writs jurisdiction so which article is that your option a is article 225 option b is article 290 200 
98 option c is 226 and option d is none of the above the correct answer is of course option c that is article 226 empowers the high higher courts to use writ jurisdiction your next question who is who is the chief minister of andhra pradesh option a chandra babu naidu option b ravi kant tanedi option c jagan mohan reddy and option d none of the above the correct answer is of course c that is jagan mohan reddy is the current chief minister of andhra pradesh now let's talk about the news recently the andhra pradesh high court directed the state government to construct and develop amravati the capital city of state and the capital region within 6 months so it has been directed by high court of andhra pradesh the andhra pradesh legislative assembly passed the ap decentralization and inclusive development of all regions bill in 202020 this bill intended to give shape to the state's government plan of having three capitals so you might remember that andhra pradesh became the first state to have three capitals so executive capital was scheduled in visakhapatnam legislative campus uh, was scheduled in amravati and judicial was in kurnool but due to some reasons in uh, november 20 2021 the andhra pradesh decentralization and inclusive development of all regions repeal bill yes the repeal bill was passed in 2021 aiming to repeal the earlier law which you know stipulated a three capital plan for the state it was promised to introduce a better and comprehensive bill after plunging loopholes in the original one so the development of region can be done through policy interventions like industrial policy this can be a major you know factor of development however separating the capitals can be against the convenience of administration as well as the people because if there are going to be three capitals people are going to be confused and there is going to be you know lot of logistical difficulty in the implementation also the andhra high court held that the state legislature lacked the competence to make any legislation for sip- shifting bifurcating and trifurcating the capital because it has to be done with the accent of the president of india the court directed the state government and the capital region development authority which is to discharge their duties enshrined in the andhra pradesh capital regional development authority crda act and land pooling rules so that is it for this video if you like the content then please hit the like button and share this video with your friends who are preparing for clat or for any other exam which has current affairs at its main topic and i would like to also remind you that an academy has came up with two free mock test and if you are giving clat 2020 or if you are giving clat any other law based exam then you should definitely take benefit of this you know free mock test which are going to be scheduled on 16th june and 12th june thank you for watching this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you